So I found this sword at a toy store and I thought it would be really cool to turn it into metal. All you need to do is basically bury this in sand and then pour aluminum over it and the foam will just melt away and you'll be left with a solid aluminum sword. But I wanted to take this one step further. I want to make a flaming sword. So I want to put a steel tube down the length of the sword on the inside and then drill holes along the blade so I can hook up a propane gas to this and then light it on fire and I'll have a flaming sword I can wave around. So what we're going to do is take this plastic bar out and replace it with a metal one. This is just a brake line for your car. Now we have a steel pipe that we can fill with propane in our sword. Now I'm putting glue on the inside just to glue it back together. I mean, I could just tape it but we're going to encase this in plaster and the plaster will capture so much detail, you will actually see the tape. All right, let's mix up some plaster. So don't breathe this, not good. So I'm gonna make this a little bit more watery than normal. Once this stuff is mixed up, it sets. If you're not careful, like if you actually put your hand in here to make a cast of your hand, it gets so hot it can cook your fingers. So all this is is a thin coating because the sword will be in contact with the plaster and not the sand. Not only will it be supported better and you'll have less chance of the sand caving in on the mold, you'll also get a really nice surface finish. All right, I think this is all covered nicely. So let's just uh, set it out in the sun to dry for a couple hours. All right, so this plaster mold, it's mostly dry. It's still a little bit moist. It's not gonna explode, hopefully, <laughs> but it might. No, I don't think so. All right, let's start filling it up. I mixed in motor oil with the sand so it will stay clumpy and kind of hold itself together even if it's not wet and moist. Now I'm gonna load up the crucible. There's a lizard in there. Babe, there's a lizard in my foundry. What are you doing in there? I found him. He's angry. All right, time to fire up the forge. is a lot of aluminum. Nice and shiny. This part's scary. <laughs> when the metal goes in, it melts all the styrofoam out and you get a very nice replica of what you're trying to do with not so much time or effort invested in it. Oh, it's well, it works, I think. It's time to break this sword open and see what we got. I like the sword and the stone. Oh, nice. Well, this is definitely gonna take some cleaning up, but like, it's gonna work. Sure, that looks like a good spot for a hole. It's through. All right, now we just need to polish and sand it up and light it on fire. So hot. Look at what I made this time. Oh, look at that. Aluminum sword. All right, I guess it's time to test it out, huh? Make sure all the holes are working. So, let's see if I just plug in the propane. Give it a quick little. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> Nice. So let's see if I can cut through the watermelon with the flaming fire sword. Oh, I could, but it went out. Toasty. All right, this is getting hot, hold on. Now the sword is pretty cool, but it also gets really hot after a couple minutes of use. So let's stick it in the pool. I don't know if I turn it on with the water still in it. Yeah. Turn it down a bit. I love the smell of burning watermelon. <laughs> I am the winner. 